Hi everybody, my name is Etienne De Bruyne. I'm the founder of Seven CTOs and today I want to walk you through the role and responsibilities of a CTO. It's a conversation that I hear many people have and since I talk to hundreds of CTOs, I would like to distill this down to what I think you should be focusing on as the CTO. The challenge is that you may not have been hired for that role. For instance, your CEO might have said, okay, I'm hiring a CTO, I want you to come run this company with me and be the boss of the tech stack. But really they just view you as someone who is executing on some product plan. And I want to sort of bring you back a little bit and ask you, are you owning the role of the CTO? That starts obviously with knowing what that role is. I talk to hundreds of CTOs and I find that there isn't always a clear understanding of what they should be responsible for for themselves but even more dangerously uh, the organization not fully understanding where and what and how the CTO should be involved in the running of the company. I want to talk about the four things that you should be focusing on as the CTO and I'm going to do it as our beloved quadrant. So. I'm going to use four T's. The first thing that you as a CTO need to focus on is team. I think that great CTOs are the ones who can put together and pull together an astonishing team. So you need to work on as CTO how to build a team. I think it's scary if you walk into the CEO office and say, hey, you know, I could only build what you gave me with this team. That should not be the CEO's responsibility. You need to put yourself out there and do what it takes to be able to attract and manage and inspire the world's best team. Second thing is tooling. We had a great chat with Aaron Contora a few months ago and providing tools and a tool set for your team to excel in and to empower them with is an essential part of the role, your role, whether it be uh, team building tools, whether it be deployment tech tools, um, always be out there looking for tooling because obviously the tool is the, th you know, the right tool for the right job. So help your team and be, make sure that the, that the tooling is there. So secondly, tech. Thirdly, tech. Obviously uh, critical that you excel in your technical knowledge. I've worked with CTOs and, and product and project managers who aren't really well versed in technology, it's very difficult. So I would say as a CTO, always make sure that you are out there two steps, three steps, four steps ahead of your team when it comes to technical knowledge. I'm not advocating that you have to be the smartest person in the room. I am saying make sure that you understand the technology as it is rapidly evolving and that you are well aware of how that technology best suits and best fits your company. And then the fourth one is timing. So I think it's really important as a CTO to understand when to embrace which technologies, when products need to be upgraded. I think it's a critical part of the CTO's role in order to bring that knowledge into the C-suite and into the executive room. So let's talk about that again. Very important that you're able to build a great team, that you are tooling your team in order to succeed, that you are uh, clearly aware and a student of the technology, especially as it pertains to one year, two year, three years out, and then to be the advocate of when things need to be done and when they should not be done. So I think the challenge here is that you might feel like one of two or three of these things are beyond your control. And again, I would bring that back to ownership and I would say work with your C-suite to start owning every one of these quadrants. Now, team could involve your C-suite activities, your engineering team activities, your product team activities. Tooling, as I said, could be organizational design tools. It's not all just in the domain of technology. It's how you show up as an officer of the company. So what I would like to ask you is um, to maybe comment or maybe email us on what you think uh, additional things are that the CTO should focus on. I would greatly encourage you to challenge this model. Um, there are obviously thousands of things that we have to look at and work on, but feel free to send us some feedback and tell us what you think the CTO should focus on.